I got time today. Yes, I do. I just shut down. This is a photo of me and Blue at the Blue Beacon getting her washed and all that wonderful stuff. Man, now y'all gonna see this photo again. You ain't gonna see me at all properly. But uh, this video is for Miss Francis and her little comment that she had to make about Blue. I'm defend mine. This is like my baby. You ain't finna call me no hoarder, and you ain't finna say that my truck is disgusting. That's, those are things that you ain't gonna say. Y'all, here go the comment right here. Girl, I'm impressed with you being a female truck driver, but you a hoarder. That truck is absolutely disgusting. You can do better than that, for real. For real, you can mind your own damn business. For real, for real. Because you saw a small clip, and you come up with that whole comment right there about my truck. You is the type of people that I usually have time for like today. And if you knew anything about driving, you can't be no truck driver, because if you knew anything about driving trucks, you would know most truck drivers, myself included, live in their trucks. Everybody don't live the way I live in my truck. You got people who live a whole bunch of different ways. Now, there are some that are true hoarders. You're not very smart. You're not very smart. You saw a junkie table and called me a hoarder. This is a hoarder. And yes, I left the name up there just in case people want to go see it. The next one is a hoarder. I wouldn't be up in no truck like that. See, you're not very smart. You're not very educated. You need to go and read a book and all the other great stuff. This one, I don't know if they're a hoarder or not. I wouldn't sleep on that mattress, though. But people live in a truck. They cook in a truck. It's a lot that go on in our trucks. We on this road driving for weeks at a time. Weeks at a time. I wouldn't even say this is a hoarder. That is an organized chaos. They got their shit put up and put away. And by like how I got mine. You might need to go read this one right here. Read that article. That's the one you might need to go read. And this one, that is perfectly fine right there. That's another photo of a long distance truck driver. Here come another one. I don't even think they hoarder neither. They got their stuff put up. I have a printer and a mini refrigerator in my truck. I am in the process, like I told y'all, of trying to do what she doing right there. Start back cooking in my truck. Because this food is ridiculous and the fuel is ridiculous. I got stuff at the foot of my bed, just like this driver got stuff at the foot of her bed. My bed was made up and it had a laptop on it too because I showed it to y'all. Now this is the inside. Now that safety vest it just got put there because of the video y'all gonna see in a little bit i had to get out and i put my safety vest and stuff on i don't think my truck is a, i don't think i'm a hoarder and i most definitely don't think my truck is disgusting but miss francis think it is my stuff is put up it's put up in a way of where it's organized for me damn how you feel miss francis and what you think it should look like. I'm not no no glam truck driver. And I'm not saying there's something wrong with the ladies who do live their life like that. But I'm running two damn trucks trying to get more business up off the ground. I need a printer. I need my little mini refrigerator because the other refrigerator ain't big enough. And so for you to come make a comment like that on my page. And I could say some things about you based off that very small photo that I saw of you. I could say some. I could say you got some self hate going on with all that blonde hair, which is probably a wig. But you know what? Way how I feel about it. That's you. You live your life. You do what makes you happy. I, I'm, who am I to judge you? You ain't hurting me, and I'm not hurting you. And you telling me how I can do better? I think I'm doing great. I think I'm doing damn good. I'm doing better than most, and I'm probably doing better than you. I, I'm, I'm saying probably because I ain't seen no videos of yours. I'm putting my life out there. I'm not getting all made up. Hell, half the time my hair don't even be done. I'm not doing all that stuff trying to impress somebody. I'm just showing y'all a little peek in my life. And if you don't like what I have to say about you right now, because obviously you wanted some attention, and I'm here to give it to you. I am here to give it to you because I got time today. Usually I don't have time, but today I have time. But if you don't like what I'm doing, keep it moving. But don't come on my page talking about my truck discussing because you see a printer sitting on the table. Because I laid my seat flat. Because I got an additional refrigerator. Because I want to keep my ass up in there. Because I want to make space so I can cook. I drink coffee. I'm, um, 
I like smoothies. My other refrigerator, not that I got to explain it to you, but my other refrigerator holds all other different type of stuff up in there. That's why I needed a mini refrigerator. So don't never come on my page. Go to somebody else's page and disrespect them. But don't never come on my page disrespecting me because I'm going to almost always have time. Now, with that being said to everybody else, I would like to apologize for my little vent just then. But Miss Francis pissed me off. And the main reason why she pissed me off, because I don't do well with nice nasty. You ain't finna call yourself being a little nice to me, talking about you impress. I ain't trying to impress you, number one. But you impressed with me being a lady truck driver? Baby, I've been doing it for 20 years. I'm not trying to impress a soul. I actually, over 20 years. I ain't trying to impress nobody. And then gonna come with a little nasty comment talking about I'm a hoarder and my truck is disgusting and you don't know my life You don't know what I go through. You don't know what I deal with. No, I'm not going for it And then on top of that you a female and I'm not even putting no color in it It's the fact that you a female means because I'm in a male dominated fear. I can I ain't gonna tolerate it from a man either shit, but a man in a, in a sense is a little expected but when women when women attack each other for absolutely no reason i have a problem with it and i had time today and so i gave her a little of my time and y'all love my time and now i'm finna find something else to do so y'all be good and i'll talk to y'all later goodbye